Good morning everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma and also welcome back another throwback Thursday challenge. For this week's challenge I actually decided just to go ahead and let everybody choose their own old school cartridge should I say. Um, nothing new like somebody asked what would be considered new. I don't know I think pretty much the light cartridges are kind of not actually the newest ones to me like happy happy hauntings but if you have the light cartridges and that's all you have feel free to use it I don't like to leave anybody out so whatever but I do like to encourage the older cartridges that's why it's called throwback Thursday so for my card today I chose to use my all-time favorite favorite little Hello Kitty cartridge I love her I've loved her my whole life and we're going to be using this, we're going to make a, a Halloween card with this one right here. I could have done the actual Halloween images, but I want to make my different. If you know me by now, I like to be different. So I'm going to make it with her, with the one that's holding the heart. So for this week's challenge, what you're going to do, you have the choice of making either a scrapbook page or a card. Anything, anything, it's your choice, whichever one you want to do. So it's going to be either one of those twos. And I, so I'll be choosing the winner Saturday evening. So your cutoff will be at 6 p.m. my time Saturday night. Okay, so that'll be, well, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, I should say. And I'll be an announcing the winners either Saturday night or early Sunday morning. Okay, so let's go ahead and get to my card. All right, I'm going to show you how I went ahead and I um, put her together here on my Gypsy. On her right here, what I did was I hid the heart she was holding, and I also hid the little hair bow because I'm she is going to be wearing a witch hat, so I went ahead and hid all that. And then what I did was I got this cute hat here from, um, this is from my other favorite pa uh, favorite cartridge, Paper Doll Dress Up. And what I did with the hat, I kind of made it an odd size. The width of it is 4.10 and the height is 4.29 because I wanted to make sure my cute little Hello Kitty fit in the hat because my poor little Hello Kitty girl does kind of have a big head so I wanted to make sure that it fit on her perfectly okay so what I did was I also got the silhouette of her too and I just hid the inside of the the heart and the inside of the bow I used the hide contour feature but I'm going to be trimming that the rest of the part out myself I couldn't hide the outline of it because it's part of the whole silhouette so I'm gonna have to trim that off by hand and that's about it oh and I got this cute little pumpkin let me go ahead and zoom that in for ya I'm not zooming in a few times only because it is little okay this pumpkin right here is actually sized at 1.12 inches okay so let's go ahead and get this card, My card I chose to use the midnight spell uh, die cuts with the view this is a really sweet pack. I'm pretty sure a lot of you have it already. But there are so many pages here that you could just do a simple card um, that's like framed out for you already. Just add something. I really like this one right here. So, let me show you my witch all put together. And I think she came out so beautiful. Isn't she perfect? Okay, now let me explain to you. Now, I bet you a lot of you did not know that Peachy Keen Stamps has Hello Kitty eyes. Isn't this perfect? And that's exactly what I used for her. She is cut out at three inches, by the way. I used the eyes, and I'm so thrilled um, that you have that because I'm always losing the little tiny eyes to go with it and it's so much nicer just to go ahead and give it a quick stamp on the face so I love it and this is the Peachy Keen Stamps PK760 okay and it comes in several sizes and I love it and what I stamped on the cute little pumpkin is this little jack-o-lantern face assortment package and this is perfect also so I went ahead and I put her together I, um, of course, did some white um, stitching here with my white gel pen. Threw some twine there with a little purple button from Paper Tray Ink. 
And here goes the layer I was telling you about right here. Isn't that perfect? So what I'm going to do before I layer it onto the cards, I'm going to throw some ribbon on here. So kind of bring out the purple just a tad bit more. I'm running low. Okay. her right there. Isn't she so cute? I love her. Let me grab my glue. Fortunately, I forgot to order the refills for my ATG gun. Usually I use that for bigger pieces um, like this, but that's okay. I'm using my favorite, favorite zip dry, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to glue this on the back. This is going to get glued on to here. But I don't want it in the center. I'm going to kind of put it off to the right here. There we go. Alright, and I'm just going to glue down the back. Now this is going to go onto some craft cardstock. Alrighty. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and put this here also, but I'm also going to put this off to the side to more on the right hand just a little off centered so it won't be like so perfectly in the middle and what I really loved about this paper that it had cute little orange polka dots in the background isn't that adorable I'm gonna go ahead and get my little pop dots on my witch and she is going to go right here There you go. Perfect. All right, everybody. There goes my card for this week's Throwback Thursday Challenge. So good luck, everybody. And the lucky winner for this challenge will be my Pink Stampers More Punnylicious Stamps. Okay? So for a chance to win this, you're going to go ahead and participate in the challenge. And after you link up your card, go ahead and leave a comment. And you'll be entered in for the drawing to win that stamp set. So those of you watching over at YouTube, go ahead and head on over to my blog, www.creativetimeforme.com, to go ahead and play along with this week's challenge for a chance to win the My Pink Stamper More Pennylicious Stamp Set. So have a great day, and I will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.